weatherbug.com meteorologist Addison Green here with your latest forecast update. We have to contend with more showers if you are in the northeast today, and that will also be the same case for tomorrow as well. The Midwest, on the other hand, is getting some clearing skies going on. And we also have a lookout for today's severe threat zone, which does include portions of the Central Plains. Back to the Northeast in Woodstown, New Jersey yesterday, Cody was showing us how dreary it was. A lot of rain fell down across places like New York City. And all of that rain and snow that we saw all winter long in the thick snowpack, all contributing to this beautiful waterfall falling near Grand Portage, Minnesota. A couple of storm reports to talk about down across the southern plains, including portions of Oklahoma and Texas. We saw a couple of preliminary reports of tornadoes, as well as some very strong wind gusts. A couple of them came in over 100 miles per hour. Now that storm cluster still raining itself out across western Texas. Speaking of raining out, it's a nice big cluster of rain showers we have to deal with from New York and up towards portions of Maine into the Canadian Maritimes. So we're going to be keeping an eye, of course, out across the northeast for those scattered showers you'll have to deal with, as well as more rainy, dreary conditions out across the southern plains. Rain showers will eventually be moving in across the upper Midwest as we go later on throughout the weekend. And there's your chance for some strong to severe thunderstorms across the central plains as we go later on this afternoon, which does include portions of Colorado, Nebraska, Nebraska and Kansas have the chance for seeing some strong hail, gusty winds, can't rule out a tornado or two. By the time we get towards Sunday morning, the Twin Cities picking up nearly half an inch, Houston a third of an inch, New York City nearly three quarters of an inch of rain, where our temperatures today are trending below normal. Same thing for Detroit, only looking at highs in the 50s and 60s across the Northeast. Meanwhile, from the Central Plains, you can see these temperatures are going to be going from cool to mild as you go from the 60s to the 80s, the further west you go, like towards Denver with a high of 84 degrees. Stay tuned for more.